The National Arts Center Award recognizes recent work of an extraordinary nature in the past performance year. The recipient will receive a cash award from the NAC and the commemorative medallion from the Royal Canadian Mint. And this year, the NAC award goes to Paul Sun Hyung Lee. versatile actor, writer, comedian, television host, and self-proclaimed geek. <laughs> Paul Sun Hyung Lee is best known for his starring role as family patriarch Mr. Kim, APA, in Korean-Canadian Korean, Korean playwright In Choi's hit play, Kim's Convenience, and its hugely popular television adaptation. Oh, and there was a small thing called The Mandalorian, I think that was... <laughs> The show brought the Korean-Canadian immigrant experience into the cultural conversation, first in Canada, then around the world, and established Mr. Lee as a model and an inspiration for a generation of Asian actors, Her Excellency Paul Sun Hyung Lee. Your Excellency, honored guests, fellow laureates, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> this is weird. <laughs> uh, when I first learned that I was receiving the Governor General's Award for the Performing Arts, I thought to myself, there's been a terrible mistake. <laughs> um, and although this has been weird, like seriously, seriously weird, it's also been delightful and humbling and exhilarating. I'm an immigrant, and while I was not born in Canada, this is the only home I've ever known. It's a home that welcomed my oma and appa when they moved here from South Korea to build a better life for my sister and I. It's a home that I was raised in. I learned my values, made lifelong friends, met the love of my life, and built a career and family in. It's where I've dreamed and grown as a human being, a husband, a father, and an artist. Canada is, and always will be, home. And I am proud, so very proud, to call myself a Canadian and to represent my home whenever I travel and work abroad. So to be honored in this way by my home means the world to me. It's a reminder of how fortunate I have been, how far I've come, and how much further I want to go. It's humbling, exhilarating, gratifying, and yes, it's still very weird. <laughs> Those who know me know that I have massive imposter syndrome. I, I don't take compliments very well because I feel like I really don't deserve them, that what I do or who I am isn't really that special. I've always been taught, be humble. Be grateful, the infamous one-two punch of an Asian-Canadian upbringing. <laughs> this award, however, makes me feel special, acknowledged, seen. So as I look back upon the last few years of my life and my career, I'll allow myself to take the win and enjoy this moment. Because being humble doesn't mean not being proud of your accomplishments or not seeing the value of what you bring to the table or appreciate the honors that are bestowed upon you. It just means you don't have to brag about it. <laughs> but in this case, I think I might. <laughs> just leave. 